In this video, we're going to explore how to create a custom GPT that connects with your main WP dashboard using REST API version 2, and we'll run a few examples to show you just how powerful this integration can be. To begin, it's important to note that you'll need a ChatGPT Plus account to create custom GPTs. Once you have that, open ChatGPT, click on Explore GPTs, and then click Create. Start by giving your custom GPT a name and a description that fits its purpose. We've already written the appropriate instructions for this, so we'll paste them in here. You'll find a link to these exact instructions in the video description. Next, under Capabilities, we'll select only Web Browsing. This will allow our custom GPT to access the web as needed while interacting with the main WP REST API. Now, we'll move on to creating a new action. Click on Authentication, select API key, and enter your token. Make sure to select Bearer as the type, then click Save. This step is crucial for securely connecting your custom GPT to your main WP dashboard. With authentication set up, it's time to paste in the necessary schema. The full schema will be linked in the video description for you to reference. Within the schema, all we need to do is update the URL to match the specific address of our main WP dashboard. Then click Create and then Update to save our custom GPT. And that's it. Our custom GPT is ready to go. Let's take a look at it in action. First, let's ask it for a list of sites associated with one of our clients. Great, now let's see if one of these sites has any available updates. It's gonna give us a list of available updates for plugins, themes, and WP Core if available. Let's update the Breeze plugin. Since updating plugins requires an API call with a POST method, it asks us for additional confirmation. Perfect, the plugin has been updated on the desired site. This integration really showcases the power of combining the main WP REST API with advanced artificial intelligence, giving you a highly efficient and intelligent way to manage your WordPress sites. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more updates from MainWP. Don't forget to check out one of our other videos next.